The people of Christchurch may have survived the destruction of their city, but they are refusing to accept the Ministry of Education plans to close and merge many of their schools. This week, the Minister of Education, Hekia Parata, announced that merger plans for two of the city's top schools had been taken off the drawing board, and she's continuing consultation with the 27 schools facing change. She joins me now, Te Ngākwe Minister. First of all, the decision to merge Christchurch boys and Christchurch girls with Shirley boys and Avonside girls, was this a back down? Uh, well, actually, it was never a proposal, but it appeared as uh, part of a list of options. And although I'm not from Christchurch, even I knew it was at the crazy end of, of the options. Um, people wanted certainty, so I made it clear this week while I was in Christchurch that it, it wouldn't be proceeding and it's not an option. Why create uncertainty then? There's a lot of fear and angst amongst parents mm. and communities in Christchurch about these mergers. Mm. Why create that? Well, um, what the Ministry was doing was just putting out what all the possible options were and um, that happened to get into the list of them. Um, but it's not a go and it's off the table. There are some people in Christchurch who say this is just a move to placate the locals while you carry on merging and closing other schools in the area. Is that true? Uh, no, we have 215 schools across the entire education network in Christchurch and we have proposals in front of 37 of them. And I met with 35 of those schools over the last two weeks. Um, a number of them, well, a few have given me their written submissions already. They're not waiting. They want, they want to get on with the job. Others have said they would like an extension of time and others just wanted to fully understand what the proposal actually was. Let's talk about the Kurakopa Māori now. Sure. You met with Kurakopa Māori of Te Whanau Tahi this week mm -hmm. and they're equally determined that they don't want to merge mm -hmm. with Te Kura Whakapū Mau Te Reo Tūturuki Waitaha. Mm -hmm. Will we see a back down or a change of direction around these two schools? Well, look, it was great to go there and meet them and to hear their aspirations and vision for their children and I totally applaud those. Um, I'm in the situation where, even in your language, right, if I listen and make a, a change, that's characterised as a back down. But actually, this is a genuine consultation. Um, we, are, all of us, are interested in how we raise educational achievement for all our kids. And in the case of the kura, they have chosen, of course, um, typical of kura kaupapa, that that's both within te reo Māori, but also how they ensure that their kids are getting the best possible curriculum. And so um, that's the sort of uh, talk that we still have to go through. There are bilingual units in Christchurch yeah, as well. Yeah, but you're going to close some of those as well, aren't you? Uh, the or merge some of them? The proposals are on the table at the moment, but what we've said underpinning all of that is that actually we want more and more, a better quality and greater access for Māori medium education across Christchurch. At the moment, it's, they're in particular geographical parts and it makes it difficult to get access to. So we're really interested in how, working with the kura, with Te Runanganui o Ngā Kura Kaupapa, with Kohanga Reo, how we can get a better distribution across Christchurch. Is this going to open the way for a charter school in Christchurch? Maybe a Ngaitahu run? Um, well, the, the uh, legislation for partnership schools, Kura Haurua, uh, is in Parliament now and we're inviting submissions. So anyone out there who's interested should uh, look at that bill and what the features are. Um, but certainly we would then move to the next step after that of accepting proposals and we haven't said where they um, should come from other than their primary focus is to deliver to um, priority learners who are not being well served by the system mm. as it is now. Overall, if you look at the Christchurch situation, and what you're doing there with the schools. Are you happy with the way the Ministry has handled this? Well, look, we can always do better, and we're learning as we um, go, and we're committed to continuously improving. I think we have to remember here that there are 9,500 less kids in the education network in Christchurch than there were before, and that means that we have to find a way of um, ensuring that the education dollar gets spent at the best possible way. I've met with those school communities. They are keen to see what the opportunities are, but also want to be persuaded against um, you know, what the risks of transition and so forth are. So, so our interest as a government over the next 10 years with a billion dollar investment is for the options to get better. That's what we're focused mm. on. Let's t just explore a little bit more about the ministry that you're in mm -hmm. charge of. Is it in disarray? Because we've had um, Nova Pay, the Nova Pay disaster, mm -hmm. national standards. Mm -hmm. Everyone was up in arms about national mm -hmm. standards, class sizes. There's a mm -hmm. lot going wrong with the ministry this year. So, so there are a number of really big issues that um, we're dealing with in education. This was the first year for the reporting of national standards. Actually, I'm pretty pleased with the way it's gone. Our um, public achievement information framework, Pay. 
is up on the ministry network and it indicates that we think over the next five years we'll get better and better and better. And interestingly, while I was visiting all of the schools in Christchurch, all of them were able to tell me where they were at in terms of national standards. Nova Pay, we have um, in the education area, this is the most complex pay role in New Zealand and possibly Australasia. Um, it involves um, 90,000 or more um, pays each week and they're not always all the same but we are working through that and we really thank schools for their patience as we try to get this settled in and we will do so. Um, and you look, there are always going to be challenges because, of course, kids are the most important things to their parents, to you and I, mm. and we want to make sure they're getting the best possible education. And so absolutely everybody's engaged with this process and the Ministry is tackling a number of very big issues. OK, my final question to you, Minister. What can you point to in your term as mm. Minister of Education that you can feel proud of when it comes to Māori students? Um, well, look, I'm really pleased with the task forces that we've set up to tackle our better public service targets, which are about raising the participation of kids at early childhood. We know that um, if our babies, our toddlers, our infants start behind, they too often stay behind. Um, we've got a task force for numeracy and literacy across the primary school years, and we've got a task force now for raising achievement at the NCEA2 level. Now, what I'm really proud of about that is that we're going down to to the actual child level. You know, yes, there are strategies and plans and all of that, but we now are working with every school with a plan for each child there on how they can have their um, education delivered in a way that they can be successful. And let's remember, this is in the context of our government having mm. delivered over the last four years a 7% increase in achievement of Māori and Pacifica students. So it has to be better, but that is trending in the right direction. So how does merging Māori schools, bilingual mm. schools, Kurakopapa Māori schools in Christchurch assist mm. with this overall plan? Because we're looking to raise quality not only in um, te reo, but also in the pedagogy, in the teaching, in the mātauranga. This is a proposal. It's something we're working through. We haven't made a decision. And it has, by the way, inspired all of these schools to think about how well are they doing, how can they do better, what are the opportunities available for them. Um, we really do have to address how our system performs for Māori, Pacifica, kids from um, low-income homes and kids mm. with special needs. He kia parata, Minister of Education. Kia ora. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Ngā mihi nui. Kia ora. Kia ora.